It's Tuesday, April 11th, and AMD is continuing its rollout of Ryzen CPUs with the 5 Series 1500 and 1600 models, both of which take aim in terms of price and performance at Intel's Core i5 offerings. DT computer builder Brad Burke put AMD's $260 Series 5 1600X CPU through its paces to see if it measures up to Intel's best and came away liking what he saw. Is it fast enough for gaming, video editing, Netflix binging? Check out his full review at the link. We've all heard the cliched phrase, never put all your eggs in one basket, but it seems some tech companies just can't help themselves. For the second time in just over a week, a tech firm has seen its stock price plummet to a fraction of its recent value after some other tech giant signaled it won't need their services, eventually. Last week, it was Imagination Tech, which saw 70% of its market cap evaporate in a single day when Apple said it would no longer need its graphics technologies about two years from now. This week, it's Dialogue Semiconductor, whose shares cratered to a 16-year low after analysts predicted Apple would no longer need their power management chip in future iPhones. Hopefully, both companies will recover. Meanwhile, we know some cheap tech stocks you might want to consider. Hey, Windows 10 users, it's Patch Tuesday, and today really is the big day. That's right, Redmond has officially released the latest major update to their ever-evolving OS with the Creators Update. Also known as Update 1703, it has been available to Windows insiders for a few weeks now, but today it hits for everyone else as well. The big news? The update includes more 3D and VR tools, but falls a bit short of being a revolutionary change to the OS and its inner workings. We've got a full review of the creator's update, so hit the link to learn about all the fun new stuff you can do with your PC after it updates, which may take a while. We suggest making some coffee and maybe going to get a sandwich or something. That's it for DT Daily Today. We've got more news on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Be sure to check out our computing podcast, Close to the Metal. We recently did an episode on the creator's update, and you can find out even more information with that. We'll be back again tomorrow.